Welcome back. Today we have Joke K versus Mauled on stream. Oh, he's using the tag Ma well, Mauled, Mauled. Doesn't make a difference if he needs. Eh, screw it. Oh. Looks like they're taking their time. Eh, first match. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do, people. Hey, going with the wolf? That's a twist. Oh, well, we'll see if he can make that work, okay? You know, I've beaten Taminus' Joker with my wolf, but it's a different character than the brawler or the Pokemon trainer. So far, starting out about even respect the attempt. Joe K was wise to air dodge there. That would have put him in a really bad spot if he got a misspaced that fair and ate the board's mash for his troubles. It's never a good sign when you get loose to a stock to 
non arsen joker <sighs> this is looking like a slaughter right now okay getting annihilated and there we go edge guarding for a brutal stock with just like 10 percent more from the last one if that I don't know what he's doing these side Bs for. It's not a good move to be throwing out a neutral. He's most likely doing a gun and doing the neutral B and doing the side B by mistake. There we go. Drag downs. Was not ready for that DI. Respect the... I see what he was going for. He was expecting a roll read, but did not quite work out. Yeah, Mald is just running all over Joe K. I will be extremely surprised if Joe K stays with the wolf next game. Unless he has a huge comeback. But at this point, it's for pretty much a foregone conclusion who wins this match. The only question right now is, does he get three... Three stocked indeed! Ouch! Just a destruction from Maul to get him one. As I said, well, we'll see what Joe K does for the next game. I expect a counter pick, but you never know. Perhaps he's just that dedicated to picking up Wolf and will stick with him to the bitter end. town. <laughs> I don't think that's a legal stage. Town and city, though. A very different town is very legal. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Wolf or bust? I respect it. Probably not going to work, but I admire the commitment to the new character. Right now, just getting ledge trapped for his life. Ugh, trying to go for the fancy combos did not pull it off. That's the tricky thing about Joker. Has a lot of very precise combos to get the most out of him. <laughs> So far, it's about the same as last game. It was start started out okay, and then Maul just ran away with it. Uh, down smash is good, but you can't use it for everything. Side B onto the stage. It has its time and place. If the opponent's ready, though, you will get obliterated for doing that. I did it again! There we go. Going to the ledge this time. That's probably the right move. Uh, tr trying to go for the hard punish there did not pull it off. So dash attack, gonna send him off stage. Uh, and there we go, especially against the counter character. That side being onto the stage is a very bad idea. Though make no mistake, against an opponent who knows what they're doing, you will get the right Yep, I gotta go play.
Done and done. Ah! <laughs> 
Returning to base. I break the lack of content to bring you an update that Greed has been eliminated from the la last chance qualifier for high rollers. He lost to Spicy and then had to face Death Arcana, which is... Oof, that's a rough one. Really thought he'd be able to beat Spicy. I uh, guess it's that Mario versus Incineroar is a very different... Good ball game than well, Incineroar versus Mario is a very different ball game than Ness versus Incineroar. Well, we tried to combine our might with Sota, and we couldn't get through either player to the to the an invite, which 
really just shows how much of a farce it was that they, that they didn't bother to at least invite someone from the either region. But I think they're aware of that, so the let's hope they handle things better next year. Okay, that's your that's the breaking news for this stream. I'll put it back on when they, we finally get another match.
And this match is on the road. Mald going Lucina for this one. That is an interesting choice, especially when he normally plays Joker. I feel like Joker would be the better character in this matchup. But maybe there's something about Mald's Lucina that may can prefer that instead. So far, not working out too great. Yeah. Yeah, needs to really make the most out of these pressure situations against Duck Hunt up close. Cause Lucina does not have great tools for fighting against projectiles. Just better against Duck Hunt than most, since they're very physical projectiles she can interact with. Still, it's a bit of an awkward one. But the upside against Duck Hunt is that you're generally going to be living to very high percents so long as you don't make any major mistakes. Like, yeah, that can, it does not kill worth crap. The up air certainly does, though. So that takes the stock at 170. Just, Lucina isn't that heavy, so it's still not a great, so it's still unusual to be living to that high of a percent. Against most characters, against Duck Hunt, that's just Tuesday. There we go. <laughs> Cutting up that cowboy. You took a gun. Granted, we've it's pretty well known that guns beat swords, but not in Smash Bros. Oof. Great combo there. Yep, you lose your patience for one second. That's that frisbee can do a number. It's not quite able to space out that forward smash correctly. There we go. Another confirm into the can. Not quite able to get it that time. Ooh, sniped by the gunman for the second stock. Yep, needs to make the most out of this, not give him a, one chance to breathe. Fortunately, it's not the easiest character to edge guard. Playing against the uh, spoke too soon, but didn't get too much out of that frisbee. Uh, not able to get the finisher hit. There we go, calling out the landing there. And there we go, back air edge guarding him for that second stock. Very well done by Mauled. Scott has a fighting chance here, but gonna need to stop taking so many hits. There we go, there is a very easy combo. Link back hit of up tilt into back air that is extremely reliable. Speaking of reliable though, blank is point blank would be ooh, and not able to recover. <sighs> That's rough. Admirable job by Mauld. To his credit, not able to take the game. I'm curious, will Mauld stick with the Lucina here? Yep. It didn't. It wasn't that bad. 
he hadn't gotten cheesed on that, or SD'd on that last stock, it's possible Mauled would have won that game. Also, going to the small battlefield where there's less space to zone him out, probably a good call. Interesting down, jump, short hop down air, that's a bold move. Yeah, that's a tricky situation. You have to respect that for his, because even if you shield it, it can blow up later. Not able to get the combo or the full combo off of that one. Uh, there we go. Barely able to get back to stage. Getting a little antsy on that forward smash. Good use of the F tilt. It has a lot of range then. That's key against... Oof. Did not get the forward smash light. Uh... Jab lock. It is a tricky one to do. Well, that was something. Uh, there we go. Not able to. You no, know, finds it anyways. Well, how long is it going to take Maul to find a first stock? Mm, getting hit through this platform. Dash attack is not a great move for Lucina, so it must have been a misinput or bold read. Yeah, that's what the zoners excel at. You lose your patience for a moment, and they will beat your face in. Not, I don't. Well, pro, could have air dodged to avoid that situation. That's probably about it. Going to take a lot to bring back this game. Not as insurmountable as some other characters, but it's still a mountain to climb. But it's still a hill to climb. Poking that can and it explodes in his face. I don't know what you were expecting. Getting hit by another, still alive. That should do it. No, still not. That will definitely do the trick. 40% uh, on the second stock. Huge lead to Sunny T. Whoo, there's an interesting down smash. And that back hit is stronger than the forward hits. So you really don't want to be getting hit by that. There we go. There's the classic combo. Oh, I gotta go play.
I don't know what game this is, though. It looks like it was game one. Rooting for Terminus to get the upset. And he, well, he got a pretty ugly SD. So it's not out of totally out of the question. I don't. Well, I don't know how much experience Nintendo has against a Joker these days. Probably enough. Trying to go for some cheese. Which, Respect to the attempt, you can get that cheese. It makes a, a huge difference. Oof, that, not quite. Uh, just barely missing his punishes. Did not, was not ready for that to land and so missed a chance to really capitalize on that fair. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. Those were probably two situations where the stock should have been taken. Ew, there we go. Catches and hit the get up jump for that first stop. We'll see how long it takes Nintendo to get the next one. That would be quite the wild upset if Taminus takes this game and match. Certainly in a good position to take this game at least. Uh, there's an interesting forward smash attempt. I'm Tendo not respecting that gun well enough. Yeah, that should... Uh, uh, respect the attempt. Probably should have been the stock, but he just did not quite get the right angle. There we go. Nice tech. Those, that is a very scary forward air. Why did they give him a forward air that leads into a jab lock? That is wild. Still had the jump. Now here's another Arsene. There we go. Nice trade for Taminus to take that second stock at a respectable early percent. Um, we'll see how much more he can get out of this Arsene. And the answer is the game! Dang! <laughs> Not the answer I was expecting, but... It it works, it works. Just following him all the way down to the blast, blast zone. Once he did that up B, his stock was as good as gone with him ready to capitalize. That is the key to beating, one of the keys to beating Fox is knowing when to punish that up B. When they're forced to go for the up Bs, they're usually gonna be, they're often in big trouble against any character with a good, well, a good edge guarding game. And, Joker has a very good edge guarding game, especially with Arsene. So here we go, game two, game three, I think. Somebody's watching stream, do let me know if I'm incorrect. So far, this is looking a lot more even. There we go. Sen's gonna be coming out at any second now. There we go. Mm. Got extra combo, which could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Oof. Nice confirm. Jab, gonna put him off stage. Trying to pump, counteract that forward air, just did not quite get the spacing. There we go. Great roll call out by T I'm Tendo. Taking the first stock and ending that Arsene short. Okay, that was gross. Yep, not going to be recovering. And also, I'm Tendo trying to go for the mind games against Tamnus is probably a smart move. It's not over. Granted, he's a full stock behind, and it's... Uh, oh, boy. That is probably going to be the last Arsene gets of this game, and I don't doesn't look he's gonna, like he's going to get much out of it.
Hmm, there's a nice counter. I think he was expecting him to do it onto stage or hoping for that. Which, eh, not the worst decision in the world. If it worked, it could have been an early stock. And he, he definitely needs every stock he can get right now. He's got a chance of taking this game. There we go. Classic up tilt, drag down into up smash. Nice back air. So even stocks. Granted, it's, he's fighting this last stock without the Arsene, which is always going to be an extremely uphill battle. Uphill does not mean unwinnable. The key is going to be, can he find, get I'm Tendo, most likely key at least, is going to be, can he get I'm Tendo off stage and then edge guard him into oblivion? That's his most likely path to victory. Also, cannot be for, afford to get hit by any up smash. If he finds uh, one correct up smash read, this game is over. That is, yeah, that does it. Okay, I guess that was the was game four. Well, my mistake. <sighs> great, a uh, great effort from Taminus to his credit. But I'm Tendo's probably taking it tonight with no sign of Oa around. Even then, he's beat Tenoa many times. Oh, okay, that turns it on. Wow. <laughs> We're here. We're in Logan. The drive up here is beautiful. L driving up here while listening to the Outer Wild soundtrack, it's different, bro. You would not believe. You would not believe how fun that is. Except for the Know My Ruin. The Know My Ruins track doesn't fit the drive. I will say that. It just, it just didn't. Anyway, we got DDR Master and Meeks on the sticks. Oh shoot, I should not close that. Which one of these is? Uh, oh, there it is. I see scoreboard. Is there swap players? There we are. It's like, <laughs> uh, okay. I have no idea how Ness. I I should know how this matchup goes by now. I imagine. Shoot, it might be winning for, for Samus, actually. It's gonna be hard for Ness to contest Samus' normals, and he doesn't really get a whole lot of... All right, Meeks, go off. Pop off, King. <laughs> Quick stock. Mini charge shot into F-Smash. That always looks so slick to me. I love how it, you gotta turn around a little bit to get the F-Smash quicker, and it looks so cool on Samus. The animation is just... Oh, if he delayed that... A little bit. I think he was trying to catch a neutral air dodge, not the directional, and it takes different timings to catch that with the side B. Yeah, this is a hard... I feel like it's kind of hard for Ness to land here. Although neutral air is broken. Oh, dude. Samus has legs of steel. 
I killed him in like 90? This isn't light either. This is like on the heavier side of things. <laughs> a chunky child. Okay, is this... Nothing you do against Yo-Yo, man. Insane. It makes the opponent SD. Oh, quick three-piece. All right. This is going to be hard for DMS to come back from. What a reaction. Just up airs after the magnet. That is a big part of the nest magnet. If you can time... Because there is a little bit of downtime between magnet hitboxes and when he uses it. <laughs> where you can technically react from a fast option. It's just really hard. It looks like Meek's got those on the lot. It's gonna be hard for DDR Master. Uh, I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty solid read. Oh, this is gonna be okay. Now this is hard for me. He does have Samus. Uh, Samus up, he loses to Yo-Yo. Okay, maybe Ness has something in this matchup. Maybe there's a little bit to go on. He can get that edge guarding pressure because Ness edge guarding without Yo-Yo is already good, but the having Yo-Yo makes it so that the opponents have to go and. It limits the options that they could choose, which is so good for it, because Edgeguarding is all about options and option coverage and going for reads and stuff and trying to scare your opponent and limiting your own options, and he's too heavy for that, but the next one, <laughs> he might not be so lucky. Is there a dash attack? Not quite. He's very... Too flag hit by Nair dash attack, but not too heavy to die to up throw. Sam was a shooting people. That's kind of fucked up. That's messed up, man. Sam has just killed three innocent crewmen. The boom mic guy? Dead. One of the cameramen? Dead. The director? He's not dead, but he's got a hole in his arm that he's gonna have to get back. Alright. What stages does Ness win? I think Ness probably wants like Smashville, Hollow Bastion, FD Small Battlefield. They're probably what I'm thinking here if I'm Ness, uh, as someone who has never played Ness. All right, Pokemon Stadium 2. That it it didn't really feel like a stage to me. I will say that. Uh, it just kind of <laughs> a couple good reads from from me. He got that mini charge shot early on in the back air. And at that point, it was really difficult. DDR did play the last stock very good. Living until 170 and dying to up throw is like, kind of optimal. If, if you can force Samus to be in a situation where they have to go for confirms like that, that are bad. Or not confirms, but like, up throw is a good kill option. It's not what you want to see. The character has the tools to kill at like the the 290% stocks that we saw. So letting, letting a stock go all the way to 170 is... It's not what you want to see as a Samus player. Um, but of course, if they, if they give you openings to get to 170, then you can't not take them. So yeah, this is a bit of a scary position for DDR. Good reactions from Meeks. <laughs> that up air is kind of wild. And it's just, it looks like it's so hard for <laughs> the slow speed of Ness to really get in on Samus there. He has a lot of mix once he does get close, but Meek's got some mix too. He's jumping through a platform neutral air. That's kind of risky too, because if you don't, if the opponent shields that neutral air, you're just kind of floating in front of them. That's can back air you, get something going. It's always about those small ones. Getting, getting some like this back air. This back air is huge. He could have killed off it, <laughs> which is so scary as the as a person at hyper sense. Oh, oh, neutral air is <laughs> probably good there. I, I was thinking up there and there's something swing to it. But it, it's so hard to, to hit those on reaction, I imagine. <laughs> oh, big heal. <laughs> big heal. I feel like the magnet is risky because if Meeks reacts, he can probably hit you for the absorb, but the plus 30 health and he got away with it. He's a robber. <laughs> oh, he's just not fast enough to get there in time. That's kind of wild. Oh, clanks with it. Very good trade from DDR. <laughs> Takes like 20% or so, which is a good chunk, but like a pretty stock. Oh, speaking of 20%, we got 29. Close to 30, but oh well. Oh, missed the tank. Wow, he went so far with that upbeat. 
Man, I feel like a lot of these recoveries from DDL and pops out of the ledge are so risky. He is at a higher percent, so it's going to be hard to confirm, but it doesn't matter if you just get the raw move. Solid. Get off me, tool. That, that clank lag on, on back air. Normally, <laughs> Ness's back air has so much hit lag that it's actually really bad for hitting the projectile. Like, it goes through him, and it's so much better than getting hit, but Samus actually, like, has advantage frames off it, which isn't standard for charge shot. Usually charge shot, unless it hits someone, you don't have any advantage. <laughs> Raw magnet? Oh, yum, yum, yum. Give me the... Give me the good stuff. Uh, I don't know about... I feel like... Samus is really hard to edge guard. So I don't know how good going off stage and edge guarding is compared to just locking it down because Samus doesn't really get off ledge super well. Forder is very good but other than that she's got really so Ooh, he's got the pivot very good air dodge from DDR the dash attack takes the stock off the side <laughs> that's so goofy the PK fire meaties through the invisibility so he can shield it but he has to shield it anything else and he'll actually get hit which does it's so weird that they He's invincible, but hitting him with that move is actually, like, <laughs> so good. Oh, this is... This is with the up B. That up B is... It's quite risky. Getting off the platform here is difficult, but he manages it. See, these neutral specials are wild. DDR Master is going insane. Oh, good catch on the down B setup. <laughs> Now he's just sneak by, uh, even a sour spot, center stage at 130, Samus' legs hit hard. I don't know if there's any kicking moves in Metroid games, she, she jumps pretty high, man. If you can jump that high, your legs will murder a man. Kangaroo-ass legs. <laughs> what do I... Cause like, maybe it's only the Zelda games, <laughs> but like, kangaroos just have boxing gloves sometimes, and all they do is kick a hole in your chest. Why are they represented with box boxing gloves in media? I'm trying to understand that, I don't, I don't think I can. Maybe it's, it's a, you know, if, you get, if you're already good at kicking, you get good at punching because you're, you're just uh, like that, then what's their, what's their downside? How do you beat a kangaroo that's good at boxing and kicking a hole in your, your diaphragm so you can't sing no more? Or breathe. I'm just breathing too. But I think singing is more. I don't need to breathe. But if I can hit that like high G or whatever, I don't know, notes. I don't need to breathe. Why am I flashing the charge shot here? <laughs> Making DDR guess what he's doing. Oh! Doesn't fake at that time, shoots him in the face! That down angled F smash actually goes so low. That looks crazy. That's some Sonic. Oh, doesn't get the follow up. <laughs> I mean, a good charge on the shield. It's important to know how to beat a nice charging up smash on your shield. It's <laughs> quite good. Oh, I, I haven't been updating the scores. I should have been updating these scores. Meeks up too well. Meeks is gaming so far. But DDR can game back. I believe in the kid. I also believe in DDR Master. My belief in Mango is some way considered irrelevant, but I feel like I have to point it out. Oh, good catch on the air dodge. Being able to catch Ness's air dodge is very important. Very important, especially for a character like Samus, who thrives off of the uh, edge guards and ledge trapping. Being able to force him to second guess when he wants to air dodge back to the ledge. That is massive. Oh, what a trade. <laughs> I wonder if Meeks was trying to dash attack. So he, is there a dash attack? And he got the miss and put F tilt that was able to capitalize for DDR. Oh, man. If you're just stuck in shield on platforms. It's really... You're not going to be able to make a whole lot more. Good upbeat from DDR. Because... 
the bomb was below the ledge, Meeks actually couldn't drop from ledge to back air the upbeat because it would have popped them up. So he had to uh, grab the ledge and then hold on. And at that point, it's too late. If he tries to drop down, Ness upbeat just kills him because he does that. It's also invincible at the start. A lot of people don't know Ness upbeat is invincible at the start. So you, in that range, you literally cannot challenge it. There is no winning. The only thing that can like come close is if you clank with the hitbox and projectile. Then it shortens the distance. But uh, yeah, don't try to smack him with your face. Or a sword or <laughs> anything. He'll go right through it. Oh, catches the weight. And that is a 3-0 and a fist bump for Meeks. Moving on to winner's finals. Very solid play coming out from the boy. <laughs> Meeks uh, hit those confirms. Big time. Welcome back, DDR. Yep. Well, I think you're up, probably up next. Um, if they were around or winter finals, yeah. And uh, yeah. it would be Meeks and I. There was a time where I was close to even with Meeks for like a month and then he figured me back up. How do you feel about the, um, Ness, Ness, I feel like it's pretty rough for Ness looking at it. Because just the hitboxes from Samus, if they trade, she wins. And other than that, she can also stuff out a lot of your approaches. It's, it's, uh, it's rough. I think it's even to slight favor Samus. The, because the biggest thing is, if you're getting the down bees at every, every right time, it goes south for Samus very quickly. But you're not always going to be getting those th the down bees for every charge yeah, shot. I, I feel like it's weird because Samus, Samus gets to play at sort of the mid range where you can't really react to side B or charge shot. And Ness doesn't have the tools to force Samus to play at either a long range or a close range because he's slow. Like, uh, when I would play Pikachu into Samus, I could just camp with T-Jolt, and that outranges anything unreactable. Mm -hmm. But Ness doesn't really have that, because your best poke tool is, like, PK Fire. And mm -hmm. if you get caught in the startup of that, you're cunked. Yep. And it's at that mid-range where if you want to play at the PK Fire distance, you're also playing at unreactable charge shot distance. So you're either eating a bunch of shield damage or getting hit, and the down B game plan is a bit... It makes yeah. it a bit rough, but you can. I, there was a, there was one that you healed like a full charge shot off ledge, and you just went down from like fifty to twenty percent. Yeah, that, as I said, that's the biggest thing that Ness has in the matchup. If you're getting the down bees for at every charge shot, it get it's it gets really rough for Samus fast. Yeah. But it's yeah. also Samus is hard to edge guard. I feel like that's that makes it so difficult for Ness to get a solid advantage in the matchup because Ness is so his edge guarding is so good. Mm -hmm. Because he's got those disjoint active hitboxes. But if you can't get the edge guarding, his ledge trapping's not amazing. Mm -hmm. And his neutral is just sort of all right. Yep, Which yeah. makes it, I think, because Ness gets too framed by Samus mm -hmm. big time. Well, Samus in general, you have to deal with the. She has the best, <laughs> e arguably the best ledge trapping in the game. Because you just this have to. It's her, her or Steve, in my opinion. Because you. You make one wrong move on the ledge, you die, pretty much. Yeah. Or, you're or at fair minimum, you're going to be sent back into the And there are so the few right moves. Yeah. Yep. It's a very tricky situation. The other th thing is... One other thing this can do is the matchup is... You, you generally see Samus doesn't go for a lot of the missiles unless she's off stage because there there's always the threat of getting those reflected. Yeah, I've, I've reflecting missile is so good. It is, for some reason, so much... like relative lag mm -hmm. and also Samus is so floaty that if she's forced into the air her options are pretty limited she's like right above your shield <laughs> it can be a bit harder to get her off you but if you're like approaching her from a lateral angle and she's in the air she has like neutral air and that's really it because <laughs> forward air starts a bot so you'll be able to run under forward air yeah, it, it, I'm I'm known well, this is not the top, it's the highest of the high level, but it's, but that's just my understanding is even to slight favor of Samus. Yeah. Well, everything comes down to the level you're playing at. I, I think making top level players cannot make tier lists for us, and we cannot make tier lists for top level players or matchup charts or anything. Yeah. <laughs> I believe in the personal matchup chart. Yep. I believe in the, like, this is what I'm good at and what I'm bad at. I think that's way more valuable than like, yeah, Ness, <laughs> Ness Samus is probably even. I'm like, 
Uh, like, K. Wool probably gets dumpstered by Fox. But I, I think it's it's only plus one, not plus two for me. Yeah. Because, like, I'm way, I, I run into shit. It's that too, and also there's always the skill gap. Like, I'm pretty confident saying Meeks is a significantly better player than I am. That's true. There is also a matter of <laughs> some people are just... They're just good, even in bad, even in bad matchups. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Oa is the prime example. He's playing like a character who's generally considered bottom ten, and he, w- he Not wins the almost character. No. He, and he wins almost every week here, and so so he doesn't give a crap how bad the matchups is. He'll he'll pound your face in because you don't yeah. you probably don't know how to handle that K rule. I also generally think that learning a matchup. <laughs> Maybe I'm privileged because I play a top tier. Yep. But even in bad matchups, there are places where you can win. You just need to learn to be disciplined and not go with your usual game plans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and learn learn what you need to do, not what not what you want to do or what people say you should do. I think that's another big thing. A lot of people like they they talk to people who don't know characters really, and they're like, "Oh, dude, you just gotta you just gotta like." Don't like overwhelm them, you know. You gotta just like run at them when you need to hold back. Because people see the character and they see the character's strengths, but it's really hard to know the ins and outs of matchup strengths. I find it's super common, especially against like Game and Watch and like Sonic. The characters that make you play defensively. Characters that win if you run at them. Yep. Oh, this getting good is so interesting to me. We should probably go play Meeks now. Yeah, then it looks like they don't want to put anyone else on stream, so I'll... That's, well, you don't need the... You've got you got the skills on your side, so best of luck. Still. All right. Okay. Uh, next up on stream, we should be having Meeks versus I'm Tendo. But looks like they're watching something, so we might be waiting a bit.
Returning to base.
This is Fox. Returning to base.
No payout for me this week. Lost to in a, in a tiebreaker. That's that's a wild one. <sighs> oh, that's a first. <laughs> yeah, tiebreak. I'm I'm kind of sad we didn't get that on stream. That would have been. That would have been very wild. <laughs> it's a Twitter clip for sure. <laughs> it's yeah. the first time I've seen that in Utah. Yeah, it's like one in a tri and like, million. I watch majors and now have four streams running at the same time. I've seen that once in my life before now. <laughs> yeah, it's it's rare, but it can happen. Just the, but it <laughs> it's wild too, because like you're both so floaty that the chances of you dying on the same frame is so small. Yeah. I thought I'd figured him out, and I kind of did, but not not enough. He was figuring me back out, and I in that last tiebreaker. Yeah, that last just, tiebreaker, he caught just a couple of defensive options. And it was over. <sighs> How many fire muffins have we been on? No. I, yeah, I, last oh, I recall, he well, oh, I guess he does play bayonetta. It's just been a while since he, I've seen him. <laughs> He played. Bay he he told me he was starting to play Bayonetta last week when I met him. I saw him on the um, Weaver State streams playing Crom in England before then. Yeah, I think I remember him playing Crom. That a bit of a switch. Yeah, Taminus. Well, we'll see how. Hey, Joker. This for some reason I know it's not, but this like feels like a canon matchup. <laughs> I mean, it's. I know that there's a bit of a meme that like. Of treating Joe Bayonetta like jo like Joker's adoptive mother or something like oh, that. Oh, I see. It's a because <laughs> they're both gun wielders. No, so they both have guns. They both one of them's just got hair. Actually, I think that's canonical. Yeah. I think that's all hair. She's naked under that hair. Yup. <laughs> Which is they referenced that a little bit in this game with the with her, her legs. This suddenly being uncovered for smash attacks, but to go as far as they do in for games proper would <laughs> where, not get Where the you. more naked she is, the more powerful she is. That would not be kosher for an E rating, no. and in no. fact... They, they already tell a, a couple lines with her, uh, her win lines. <laughs> From what I understand, it's recent... One of the more recent things they've been doing with, like, the ESRB oh, ratings is that big. there is, like, a degree of you can't reference M games with well, with the exception being like the legacy ones, which yeah. is which is why like the Fallout one one is Vault Boy. That's gonna be difficult for Smash because it has Bayonetta and Snake. I think those are legacy since they they were in before since they. They're old, they're, I, I imagine ESRB would consider it legacy, especially because it's such a big title. <laughs> <laughs> like Nintendo's probably got those connections. They might say like, hey, tone it down a bit, make it less cheeked up. Oh, talking yeah. about Snake. Talking about Snake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to be definitely, clear. Definitely Snake. Snake's, Snake's the one to worry about there. Oh, good parry. Yeah. And Bale feels so weird. Sometimes Bale Uppy, I feel like, just punishes every single thing, no matter how you space it. And then sometimes people are right next to it. And it just doesn't. Mm -hmm. I mean, people complain about Game & Watch Uppy, and it's still probably the better move. But, but yeah, Bayonetta's Uppy is pretty, r really good in its own right and has many of the same frustrating think, things. The, the difference is, like... Bayonetta's Uppy, or oh, good catch. Bayonetta's Uppy is her game plan. Game Watch Uppy, he doesn't need it, but it is broken. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So Bayonetta players end up using their Uppy way more. Because they have to. It's, it's their like, only way to get damage other than risky side moves. Yep. And yeah, I was, I was going to say earlier, this, uh, this matchup's going to be difficult for Fire Muffin, because Tamis' punish game is really strong today. Like, he's he's taking every hit a mile right now. Yeah, that's stamina for you. Wanna, he's our most volatile player, but on the flip side of that, when he's got a good day, he is a terrifying force he's, of nature. He's got such a solid neutral. <laughs> that's right, wall clings. But, uh, a big thing, I will say, is we saw it on the first Arsene. When they get in a, when a fire muffin gets an up out of shield, our, half of our sin is gone. <laughs> Each up B takes half of it, and that's 
gonna make things difficult. That counter is so bad for upbeats with hitboxes. It's yeah. wild. Yep. Bayo yeah. does have a bit of lateral mix that she can put in, but at the end of the day, Joker's got the other hand. Yep, Jaminus making that first game look smooth and easy. Yeah, there were a couple good good looks from uh, from Fire Muffin there that which time on the I think it was a neutral air to punish with the up smash was pretty good. <laughs> a good solid read for the stock there. It's it's probably so hard to find stocks in this matchup as uh, Bayonetta. If you can manage to catch a point where Joker's off stage and doesn't have our send, the edge guarding will do very good things. But that's so difficult to do when your character has combos that build our send like crazy. Yeah, that's that's an interesting thing too. Is that Bayonetta generally has to get a good read to get the stock, and so I mean, it's no this is no duck hunt. Generally, not not living to 170 nearly as much, but <laughs> still. I think if you play right against Veil, you'll live the 150 most of the time. Which, yeah, letting if you can avoid back airs and meaty up tilts and uh, forward throw at ledge. <laughs> Granted, avoiding both back air and forward throw at the ledge is difficult, but <laughs> I think that you can generally survive. Oh, she almost got he almost got punished with a side B because he landed after doing like five special moves. My point was that since he's living longer, it is it means he's probably going to get uh, a yeah. second dart send more frequently, which is always a bad sign against Maybe. Joker. Maybe. He's already at 140 with the first dart send being gone. Yeah, probably not getting a second dart send this stock, but the it's, next ones, it is absolutely on the table. It's also, because Bayonetta tends to play more reactive, it's difficult to get the Rebels guards on her. Like, if her game plan is going to be, I'm going to wait for you to hit my shield and up beam, you can bait it out by jumping next to her and, and doing Rebels Guard, but... Yeah. That's, that's, first of all, that's risky, and second of all, I don't think that's really Very nice. Okay, I was, oh, yeah. I was wrong, but he, here's the second Arsene. <laughs> Should be taking the stock soon. 200, but... a fourth or center stage won't do it. He's winning neutral. All right, it didn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> at the end of the day, if you win neutral enough to not give them extra credit, taking the stock at a high percent doesn't really matter that much. Mm -hmm. But it is terrifying. Ar Arsene with Rage. Yikes. Mm -hmm. oh, very solid opener there. Um, I'm kind of surprised he didn't go for the neutral air. He went for the background stack. I feel like it's too low percent for that, but I don't play Barrow, so who knows? Well, that's an awkward miss on the down throw on the forward air. Oh, he's going for a lot of these heel slides. I'm, I'd be a bit scared. Yeah, they'll come back. It's a habit that if Tamnus can catch on to, it's going to be a problem for Fire Muffin. Whenever someone like fades back while their opponent is off stage, just waiting for the jump on the stage, I I tense up so much. Like when they're both falling there at about the same speed, that was. Oh, <laughs> oh this big backer doesn't kill here. I don't think. But what's the edge guard attempt? No send. Goes for the two frame with the down air. Speaking don't think you can hit. I don't even think you can hit that on. Um, Tether yeah. If he doesn't take up the stock on the next hit, Arsene's going to be out any moment. I don't... Oh, Ooh. wow. Catches him on the Pulled stage. Pulled him up. Speaking of Arsene, here we go. Get back here. Yeah, this is... If Taminus can make a lot of... <laughs> oh, that's going to be big. That's... Dang. 50% straight from guns. There's going to be a lot of lag on that landing. Manages to get away unscathed, but does lose the advantage. Take us by the neutral air. What's Tamanus going to do with it? Ooh. All right, only 48%. I don't think that's too bad, all things considered. Yeah. Um, but this, this percentage here, I think, is bad. Because you're going to have to deal with Arsene when you're sitting around 80 90%. <laughs> that's <laughs> prime. Uh, maybe not even deal with Arsene. Looks like Tamanus might just clean this out going the regular joke. He's getting every single read on these landings. Ledge trap, solid as always. Not sure what he was looking for there. I guess he just wanted to be patient. He wanted huh? to grab. <laughs> that would Very make sense. solid coverage from Fire Muffin, but this is terrifying. Yeah, maybe. Any solid hit, and he's gone. I feel like this fishing for backer isn't great against Bayonetta. I think Fire Muffin probably would force through it. <laughs> oh man, this is. I'm, I'm clenched, but look at Arsene. One hit, and he's down to that. such a small amount. I don't even think he'll have it for the rest of his edge guard. Nope. Which is massive because it takes that counter out of the. 
<laughs> you did see him get a second Arsene on that first stock, so it's oh, not out of the question he gets another. Read. He needs to find just... Oh, he just gets your dodge? That guy, that, is that going to do it? I think yes. it does! With all of that rage, you don't see it on Bandetta, but here we are. Yeah, it was a close game. Fire Muffin played that Arsene so well. The, the amount of hitboxes that Taminus put out that would have just killed if they hit. And nice weave his way around all of them. Granted, Bandetta is hard to hit, but like... Yeah. Damn, bro. <laughs> it was wild to live, to beat win that game. Um, oh yeah, that was counter pick. So that that makes sense. He'd go to battlefield because battlefield is a stage that famously favors the ladder combos. Which I guess that's kind of okay. I guess the reason he allowed that was because Joker also has some really good ladder esque combos to. So that that's probably why he would would be fine with allowing it. I also it. think that Battlefield, that top platform is so good for Bayonetta. And because you have so much mobility, it sort of becomes an out where Joker has to hard read through landing there if he wants to get a kill. Whereas on most other stages, if they don't have a platform that high, he can do with up air, up air, or up air, up smash, which <laughs> does kill you. Or even just an up smash. But there were a couple times there where Fire Mouth and landed on the top platform, and all that Temenus could get out of it was a singular up air. And that's really good because it means that you can take all that lag from using like five specials and if none of those mix-ups work you can eat a small punish whereas normally on most stages you would eat a pretty big punish and then suddenly you're reset you can go for those five different mix-ups again and if you don't land well maybe you can minimize the punish again and oh that counter doesn't quite work out if fire muffin was reading the roll Looking yeah, this is going for some pretty hefty reads here, and they're not quite working out. He's up losing a lot of his advantage states. And now Fire Muffin's an advantage. Gets the meaty dash attack on the tech. Yep, they, it's always scary when you're on those side platforms on town because they're so close to the blast zone, so anything can kill when you least expect it. <laughs> I actually think Town City here is pretty terrifying against Bale. I think Bale tends to sort of conveyor you off the side for kills more often than she does a ladder in this game. Yeah. At least from my experience. If Fire Muffin can land an up B, a high percent, good read. Finally gets one of those. It's better Some, work out of Sometime you should come when Sandman can is in town. He's he is makes Bayo look like Smash War. <laughs> Not even kidding. He's demolished Oa. But. Yeah, heavies against Bayo are it's a very rough time. <laughs> Because the thing with Bale is like people sometimes your combos don't work and then you lose advantage and suddenly you the main like upside for your character isn't <laughs> you can't take advantage of it but that doesn't happen for heavies. But it's happening against a regular character, arguably one that's harder to combo the most for fire muffin, but Tamin is firing right back. Speaking of firing, using that yeah. gun to edge guard him. There's a big edge guard opportunity, good counter. Yeah, I'm gonna put him off Almost stage. takes the lead. Now the Arsene is gone, which is where it suddenly becomes a lot tougher to take a stock. Well, I don't know how that can grab, but still ends up getting the punish. Not lag on which time, and there's that falling back air. A lot of characters that like to jump there off of ledge and then get a reversal with the back air, that enemy just plays super patient against. It sucks, but you gotta do it. Oh, and there, there we, we are, the down smash catch it all the way across the stage. Yeah, that's one of it's one of the trickier combos for Joe that you need to know for Joker just because as as we've said, Arsene is where you get most of the stocks, but you can't get always afford to get every stock with Arsene yeah. as Joker and that's one of your best ways to take a stock without Arsene. Yeah, the forward air up air into down smash. It sucks. Bale's uh, probably too thin for up smash to connect, so he had to go for down smash. Thankfully, he had enough damage on the board that it was able to kill across the entire stage. <laughs> Especially on town. That could have been bad. Oh, no. But look at this neutral coming out from Taminus, but which times through manages to get the punish, and here we have an even game after the read on the deck. Yeah, this is going to take oh, a lot of huge chunk. is going. Look at that. Almost like 70% of our Sen just gone, but manages to get the... Terrified. Yeah. He died in and got up aired. Uh oh. Yikes. Arsene will vanish. <laughs> yeah, it's either player's game right now. It, though, slight favoring to Fire Muffin. Eh, uh -oh. maybe not. Because if he can Temis, get this. Temis with the edge guard with the ledge pressure. 
Let's find him up and do to get out. Breaks out with an afterburner kick in the air and. Hmm. Cancels the pressure early. Oh, I don't know about that F smash. <laughs> Yeah, it's a oh, no it's a guard. big punch, but that's it's a very laggy punch too. Oh no, that it that it oh, fourth throw does not do it here. And but the go. snipe. Yeah, though that thing is scary. You for because yeah. you don't realize just how far it goes. It's that's particularly terrible. That was a very bad situation for Taminus because if he air dodges that, he doesn't have his air dodge anymore, and he was about to get our scent. So he doesn't have the tether recovery anymore, and it's really, really easy for Bayonetta to just neutral air edge guard you there. And because it's town and city, you're at 160, I'd be amazed if it doesn't kill you. Now, Fire Muffin on match points. Is he about to get the... Well, I don't know. It's, I'm not sure if we have enough data to say if it's an upset or not, but... I would consider it an upset, personally. Yeah. Um, I would have, going to this, I would have definitely favored Tamnus. I especially think he's playing pretty good today. Yeah, uh, this is an... In, I'm, I mean, I, the counter pick made sense, but I'm questioning the wisdom of taking Bayonetta for your pick to this stage. Uh, yeah, I feel like... I don't know what the bands were. I also don't know what stages are really good for Joker. I think you probably want something a little more... I don't know. Doesn't really, Maybe he doesn't want a long stage. This, yeah, this is... I don't know thing, enough about this matchup. My, the main issue is, is that this is a stage that heavily favors ladder combo characters. And you don't get much more ladder than Bayonetta. Yeah, I also think it just makes... It covers up for a lot of Bayonetta's issues with disadvantage. I feel like you're not trying to land nearly as much as Joker as you are for Bayo. And the platforms make that a lot easier. It manages to slide through the edge the ledge guard. <laughs> Oh, if he reversed that and got the forward air, it probably wouldn't have killed, but we've been sick. Very good tech. I feel like it should have just done another forward air on that platform. But, uh, there, <laughs> there we go. go. <laughs> yep, you find one of those, and he's good as dead. Yeah, Tamin is managing to keep that R10. Uh, Fire Muffin wasn't able to find the big combos in order to take the gauge away, so the R10 is able to last pretty long. <laughs> nice confirm, just getting this nice Very simple solid. combo. Oh, that's gonna be a big punish. Oh, it gets a full hop on accident. You have to be. Lands for free. Very you, solid. You have to respect the. Like, after the fourth hit, he can act so quick out of the right. down gun, so you kind of have to respect yeah, it. Yeah, down guns. If they do it right, it's, it's very difficult to punish. Oh, big punish on me, which time? <laughs> this is looking very good for Tamnus right now. It is. A lot of damage, still a lot of our send to go. This isn't going to be able to lead to a kill, I don't think. Um, goes for a jab. I would like to see a forward throw there. It's a bit riskier. Gets a good trade. Yeah, but needed to take that stock. Well, no, not, maybe not need because he was about to lose the Arsene anyways. Now, I think it's going to be harder <laughs> unless he can manage to get Fire Muffin into a good position when he has to land. Like this. It's going to be a bit harder for Tamanus to find these kills. I think that if Fire Muffin can get our set out and then remove from the game just as quick, he'll have a pretty good position. Otherwise, it's looking like it's going to be Tamanus' lead to maintain. Yeah, like he's in a pretty good position right now. Just smack it to Fire Muffin around the stage over and over. Yeah, he just keeps winning neutral. This is some very, very solid gameplay coming through. He's not getting killing blows, but he is getting stuff that was set up for it. <laughs> And the further, higher the percent, the more everything becomes a killing blow. Yeah. And All right, here we go. Big opener for Fire Muffin. Taking a... Our scent is out. Anything is a killing blow now. Yeah. Cannot afford to make any mistake right I mean, now. Not anything. The grabs are not. Okay, the grabs are just barely not taking the oh, stock. But he there manages we... to... Oh, reverses it, and Fire Muffin holds down on the left stick, manages to tech it. That's a big thing. If you can hold down left stick... Damn, both these players are teching like crazy today. Uh, managing to st stuff out the do it. Yeah, Okay, st still has what? I, I forgot what stock the count was because I was getting <laughs> tense. <laughs> yeah, two stocks in one here, 100% on Taminus. If Fire Muffin can get an up tilt into a back here, he can even this up pretty quickly. Otherwise, Taminus is going to be able to get at least one more Arsene out of here. Yeah, it's very easy to see. But we've seen that the upside for Bayonetta in this matchup is that since her combos are so big, one good read, and that Arsene is all but pretty much all but deleted. 
Yeah, but this is looking so good for Tannis. This extra credit is going crazy right now. <laughs> and he avoids the back air. If you stay low, I love that down tilt from Tannis. It's it's so hard because Fire Muffin hasn't really been itching to grab this game. So I don't think you're too scared to get a dash grab during a startup. You don't Spot see. Dodge you don't see Tamnus go for the up beat too much. Uh, it's too. good. All right, our send's gonna be out. <laughs> this is gonna be a, a big decider for the rest of the game. I feel yeah. if this our send, Ouch. good counter. That yeah. would have been the stock. That would have been a game. Yeah. There's another one. Reverse it. Yeah. Oh, doesn't get a good start for that the combo, and that back air is going to take game number four for Taminus. Game five, you love to see it. The tense fist of matches. <laughs> Dude, Fire Muffin's going the, going the distance tonight. Two game fives at least. <laughs> I don't know what his earlier brackets have been like. I know he went game three with um, the Sora player. I forget the guy's tag. Sorry, I need to find my phone. Go for it. Like the phone? Thank you. Town and city. Are you allowed to go back? <laughs> Town and city band. Spirit train. Spirit train goes crazy. Looks like he's over here the whole time. It happens. <sighs> All right, I didn't see what stage we went to. I'm um, ready to be surprised. If it's Town City again, I, I, don't know, I feel like the, it's, it's Fire Muffin's pick. So, uh, Stadium. Stadium, it is. Yeah, I feel like this is a pretty neutral stage. Uh, don't think other character really has a big advantage here. Uh, no, I know that I've seen like Tanman can take stocks all off like the sec the main these main platforms but i don't think fire muffin's that level of uh, this i don't think fire muffin's able to do that at least yeah, it looks like the gravity on tamas was just a little too low to get that combo starting anything more uh, maybe sei down it's hard to tell i've never been good at looking at the little indicators yeah. doesn't get punished for the mist slide heel slide Catches Tamis with the neutral air, but we're back to neutral. Never mind, we're in advantage for Fire Muffin. Gets the meaty hit of the up air. He's burning. Yeah, we're burning against the burning kick. Just playing evasive, that's a bad trade for Fire Muffin. And Tamis finds the back air, that's a big opener. He's still got a bit of our scent. How far can he take it? And only at 67%, and as we've seen, Bayonetta is not great at taking early stocks. That's going to be a tall mountain for Fire Muffin to climb here. All right, there's going to be something. At least he took the ascent uh, out. Lands on the platform, ends up getting his combo canceled early. Yeah, this is not looking great for Fire Muffin right now. Needs to get the most... Oh, no! Drops the combo! <laughs> I actually think in the player matchup, this is pretty bad for Fire Muffin. Tamnus is very good at a lateral neutral. The way that he weaves in and out of hitboxes seems to be working very well for him. And the stage doesn't really give Fire Muffin any sort of early kill potential the way that Town and City do. So it doesn't really make up for it. It's too, there we go. There we go! Manages to kill off the top. <laughs> Bit wild. So that was some uh, DI well, shit. Get back here. Yeah, get over here. Big Which up tilt. Up air, side B, back air, misses the tech, and we got another combo started, but he falls out. Good DI or SDI from Tamis to get out of there, and the guns are going to make things difficult here. Both players rolling back. Here we go. And we got the spooky, spooky man. Oh, uh, big for Fire Muffin. <laughs> yeah, everyone wants to take Manages it. to get back an advantage. Tamas is breaking through with these counters. It's working quite well for him. Mm -hmm. Great yeah. catch. Yeah. He'd use three special moves. He's going to have a lot of lag there. Oh, big, great call out. Just burning that stock then and there. Once again, in the same situation we were on the first stock. 67% with an Arsene finishing out just barely. Oh, it, big neutral wins for Tamas. Gonna take a, on me. It's going to take a huge comeback for Fire Muffin to take this game. 
down guns to land safely. Gets the upper number, turns the up the around. Not stealing the back air, trying to <laughs> save that one for the kill, it seems. If you had timed that a bit later, that back air could have finished the job. They're starting to get scary. A good read, and uh, there you have it, a good read, and Tamanis takes it three to two. A good showing today from Firemark. Yeah, good. But at the end of the day, Tamanis was the better player. That, more data needed, but uh, on a good day, I could definitely agree. I, well, today turned out to be a good day. Yep. <laughs> so today, today he wins. Next up, we've got Tamnus versus Meeks. I think last week he took the match over Meeks, and so we'll see if he can do it again. I wonder if these two play so much. Oh yeah, they've, I'm sure these two have played each other a lot. And I think... I, I'm not sure if I'd say that Tamnus is the better player, but it is a bit of a rough matchup for Samus. I think today I would expect Tamnus to take it. I think Tamnus is playing very well today. Um, yeah. I, I could absolutely see it. I can't emphasize it enough. There's like bad bad day Tamnus and good day Tamnus are like two different players. And bad Bad day Tamnus can just scrub out O2 if he gets hey, really unlucky. As soon as he walks by, you start talking trash on him. I'm not, That's crazy. I, w I didn't expect him to go this way. I, I mean, you could have said the good part. You could have started talking about good day Tamnus. I, I think he rage quit at my I mean, offense. Yeah, he was so upset at DDR Master saying that he can have bad days. But on a good day, <laughs> Tamnus is like an unstoppable force of nature who, oh, who can goodness. plow through anything in his path and oh, I think so... have I graveled enough <laughs> <sighs> so <goofy. sighs> yeah, this is this is, this is actually just shit talk corner <laughs> now both these players both these players are very good I think I think Meeks is very good Daminus is playing so well today Mm -hmm. Um, he, he almost, a couple, couple good decisions, he, he probably would have beaten. I'm he pretty confident. figure it out later on. I stand, for the most part, I stand by what I said. Meeks is definitely the more consistent player. Meeks is probably more consistent. Meeks is very practiced. <laughs> He's so solid at, like, the way that Samus has to play, where you think Samus is, like, more of a setup character, but I, I think Samus is actually far more about stuffing out options and having the tools for it. Um, at least in matchups like this. I think that Joker and Fox probably play very similarly into Samus, where you can't really go for anything at the long range because they can absorb size reflect and it's difficult when they get in because they've just got better buttons. Yeah. But Meeks is so good at playing that style. <laughs> oh. I think it'll be close either way. I don't expect either player to watch the other. I get another game five. Today yeah. it's, it's a day for game five. Indeed. And it all come well the, at this point they're fighting for what the difference between about a ten dollar difference usual They're fighting to win the tournament. Hmm. I guess it's possible. You always fight to win the tournament. <laughs> if you're not fighting to win the whole thing then it makes it a lot harder to win where you're at. Yeah. Don't get don't get complacent. You can beat Lara. You can beat Spargo. Akola, you you can Akola will get dumpstered by you. You just need to <laughs> practice, practice, you need to, practice. You need to have the confidence. You need to put in the work. Mental game is so big. Granted, it would be ideal if there was a better training mode, but. You gotta make do with the tools you're given. Yeah, I also think that um, honestly, training mode it, it is important, but you can make a lot more headway in this game by working on the theory of it. Yeah, there we go. The big combo. Now, speaking of training mode, looks like Meeks has been in there. Yeah, he is very consistent with those grab Almost combos. Almost gets that F smash, but he's still set up on ledge. It's going to be very difficult, even with our send, to make your way through this. Needs to really make this count. There's a nice way to do it. Put him off stage. Ooh! 22. 
It's gonna be big, can still frame trap the air dodge. What a Good call punch. out. And, oh, it doesn't go for the counter. I don't think, I'm not sure if he had time. Maybe, he might use it. Ooh, just fired it the wrong way. Yeah, these scrap situations, Hamas, Hamas is in so good in scrap situations today, and it's a little unfortunate with the eye on that back throw, it's got very quick animation. It's difficult to uh, hit that perfect. Yeah, it's, it's, that's a legitimate mix-up to go for sometimes. No mash, just throw, and then if the opponent isn't ready to DI, yeah. you just take the stock when you wouldn't otherwise. It's very big. Zero Suit Samus players get that all the time. <laughs> Finish fast. Hey. Oh, goes for a F smash. Might have been a dash attack attempt. Possibly. A, might have, I think he was trying to go for it. It just mistimed it. <laughs> he tried it down. He tried not only get back to stage against Samus Ledge Chuck, but also tried to say, yeah, I'm killing you. Trying the most to get the edge guard, but I think it's as so you said hard. earlier, yeah, it's very difficult to edge guard Samus. Just well, the back end of that up smash. Joe Graf smash does not hit in front of him well at all. But it does hit above him very, very nicely. Looks like doing a good job of weaving around the projectiles right yeah, now. Yeah, might be a good starter. Jumps a little too high, isn't able to frame trap the air dodge. <laughs> oh, survives. I, I feel like an F smash should have been, you know, maybe cooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And jumps right into that up tilt. That's a key part of why Emesis ledge trapping is so good because. That just move just covers everything. Oh, that's a lot of our sand. Goes under the charge shot. Gets a set with the down guns. Good pivot grab. No tech. Punished with the forward air. Just trying to maximize the pressure, but a well-timed roll gets back to neutral. And what is this air dodge? High up air. Well, I mean up tilt. Up air. <laughs> what is this? Oh, catches the roll with the charge shot. That was pretty late into it. Mm, nice avoidance. Good and read on the neutral air dodge fade back. Manages to catch it, and with the Arsen, he can get some distance with it. Close the gap. Ooh, that is oh, gonna make it a bit. Here. It's all the bigger because it means that it's gonna be that much harder to get another Arsen this stock. Because yeah, he was at sixty percent. It's pretty easy to get it. Ooh, there. Oh, all right, all right. He may make it another Arsen this stock. Yeah, he with the one They're good both read. a bunch of punishes here. Maybe with that little bit of reset. So both have their head cleared up a little bit. Maybe the punch can be a little better. Good catch with the side B and the back air read. Ooh. Oh, that's going to be so hard. This is going to be so hard to get back from. Yeah. And very, very good. <laughs> that was crazy. The moment he got that Arsene, he went you went sicko mode? I hate saying that. Why did I say that? <laughs> hey, it's, it, hey, it's a meme term, so why not? I he will. He absolutely went sicko mode. He, he just destroyed him. He went a little wild. A little wild. Yeah, that, that two sh two projectile rebels guard changed that entire game. Yeah, he took the advantage state all the way, <laughs> and then he read the side B and the jump. The rest was history. Yeah. Taking, those, those taking those close games or games you otherwise shouldn't have can make all the difference in a set too. Oh yeah, if you're a closer like that and you can make comebacks, that's that's one big step towards being... Like even just the, the when you can do stuff like that, it just says leagues for your mental game. The mental game is so nice. Yeah, and that's usually, that's where Tamis can struggle on a bad day, but when he's, as I said, good on a good day, He's unshakable. Very solid grab. I take those throws oh. and catches them. That's what I'm saying. These stages with platforms lower to the ground makes landing so much harder. I think that game, that might have game, that feeling that game has allowed him to go into this one with just a dynamite mental to run all over Meeks right now. Meeks is honestly looking kind of off. Well, Take it back. Spot at the close hitbox. I actually didn't know what happened. <laughs> actually, no, that was probably the strong thing. It just wasn't as high percent as I thought. A great roll to get through the ledge trapping pressure. Ooh, oh, and that was really good evasion on all those projectiles. The grab was a little risky. Yep. It's, Neeks likes going for those delayed aerials, which is something to yeah. look out for, and he was not looking for out, out for it there. Blade aerials are so good with Samus, because you have, you have really good range, you get 
you get to set up the uh, spacing the way that you want and they're delayed arrows are just so much more likely to hit than rising ones because you mix up timing and people get antsy and here's another arsene what's gonna be happening with this one Ooh, gets runs right into the charge shot the dash attack He's well, gonna... this time meeks is playing the arsene better than taminus is <laughs> look at this go not close enough to get the up air Goes for the down oh, Side so bead good. right into the platform, making it go to waste. That's rough. <laughs> oh, here you go. Uh, uh, just lands a little early. Doesn't get the hitbox of combos. Yeah. That back in the neutral air. <laughs> Coming. Back throw, gonna put him off stage. It's a really weak kill oh, throw. That Ooh. gun. That gun was. A couple pixels off from being amazing, but sits sits right on stage. And that was so unfortunate. That guy. back air just missed by a pixel, and it's allowed Meeks to live for another bit, little bit. Three up airs? <laughs> nope, just uh, the simple two. Went for, went for read on the air dodge. The Tamas went back to ledge, very smart. I would have air dodged, would have got my ass beat. Another dash attack. He's winning neutral, which is very good. He's got Lynch trapping with Joker. <laughs> oh, Arsene is out. It's the extra gun. Not, which is not All a great bullets. sign for him in this game, because that means it's very a lot less likely he's going to get... He, now he, he's going to have to make the most... <laughs> you okay. never know. There could be two projectiles on the right ledge that get Rebels guarded. It could happen. Yeah, that's what happened last game, but... I've seen it before. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And the Arsene is gone. If he can just win neutral, like a bunch, and then build up Arsene that way... <laughs> yep, it's not out of the question we'll see another Arsene this game. Because, like, when you're winning neutral and you have Samus in the corner, most of their hits need to be to, like, burst out of the corner. So you... You get... You build up Arsene a bit safer. You know? Like, you don't go to 130, you go to, like, 110. You get a couple more opportunities to the Rebels guard. I also don't think, like, Tempest doesn't super need the play to build up Arsene right now. Like, obviously, that's a win condition, but his neutral is so solid right now, he can just win with Joker. It's, it's not out of question, especially if Meeks can't find a finishing blow soon. Yeah, he's slamming so well around all these <laughs> setups from Meeks, but... There that neutral air is very strong. One to one. Yeah, and it's very good if it, that did the trick, because otherwise he w almost certainly would have been staring down the, that second stock Arsene, which you, as I, it can't be overstated. You do not want to be facing that. And now we go to that game three, one to one battlefields. Two very up air combo heavy characters so it's an interesting one to be going to i guess though it's taminus take it going here so probably you no know, meeks really likes battlefield you get the up b and the line on the top platform and the punishes um the platform sort of make it so people can't approach from above as easily as on other stages uh, i know that meeks really really likes this stage he also but, like does Sorry, but he also likes the similar Yoshi's story. I guess yeah. that it's similar, but has the extra cheese of the close sides and the weird slants. Every blast zone is closer. It's got the slants. Hmm. And it's got a wall. Oh, wow. This is very solid. I guess that there's not, uh, if you land on the platform with the up there, you know, you're gonna get He needed to air dodge because you do not want to be caught with that. Dude! Uh, no tech, good punish from Meeks. Very well done. <laughs> Snuffing out the Arsene there. Is he out of the corner? Oh, wow, that's how he does. Very well. <laughs> oh, great conversion off of that landing there. Solid openers. Doesn't get the combo, but does get the frame trap. Indeed. <laughs> Meeks just inches away from Taminus' attacks. Arsene is out. What can we do with it? Ideally, we need... Neutral there. 
Oh, what was that? Just barely not able to get there in time for the... Yeah, looks like life grabbing really came through. Yeah, oh, needed to there, take up. out. Forward, forward there. <laughs> Very good. Mm -hmm. It would have been a big problem if he didn't take the stock there with the Arsene. But now that he has, he has a much better chance of winning this game. <laughs> Good. Ooh, oh, I... living, living. That's big. Yeah. Not dying there is <laughs> is actually so huge. Yeah, Special Watch the opener, back air gets some advantage. Very solid read on the shield with the grab. <laughs> hey, well, big opener from Meeks. Now he gets the ledge set up. Big air dodge. Yeah, that didn't take the stock, and now we've got that second stock. Our that second Arsene in oh. the stock. <laughs> Magnets him to the ground. Doesn't get the up tilt. Joker jumps just a little too high. That forward air pulled him in. Oh, that back air. That back air was swaggy. I, I wish that hit. That would have been crazy. Didn't get well. Got something. Didn't get nothing out of the Arsene, but not no, enough to take a stock. <laughs> There we go, the down tilt, find it in the stock. That forward air is <laughs> working wonders for Taminus right now. Side B to try to catch one of the tackles. A oh, big Rebels guard, Arsene's coming out in a second here. Not quite close enough to get that forward air. Here we go. They're swinging, they're missing. One of these characters is gonna hit the other and then it's gonna be crazy. That is not Big quite going to do it. Doesn't it. quite take it. The down gun. There we go. Uh, the counter. <laughs> counter is so good against hitboxes that if he can if he can avoid taking any more hits for the rest of this Arsene. Ooh, they're 69 percent lol. Yeah, that's not too bad. He can still. I mean, he lived the 160 the last time. If he keeps playing like that, man, just to avoid all of Meek's kill setups, he can bring this the distance. Big, it's air dodge. That's still possible. Meek's doing the Samus roll. Just get that out of the system. Or just get some one good rebel card read. Oh, very solid play coming through from Taminus. Making the most <laughs> Making of it every combo. Making it very difficult for me to get off the ledge here. Get some. <laughs> just going with these light hits that don't have a lot of recovery, so he's able to manage to not get punished super hard by Meeks. But that bomb there. Ooh. Uh, that, I'm not sure what Meeks was looking I'm for on that delay. Oh, that was a deep commitment from Tannis, but he gets back on stage without much issue. Good Meeks patience. going for that double hit neutral air. Yeah, I, I, I love the, the getting out of there. Now, here we go Tannis. again. If he and doesn't. If you can manage to only get light hits here as Tannis, you're. I mean, you have more like. Oh, so close! I respect the attempt. No oh no, no bad guy. <laughs> ah, bad guy. He was trying to mix him up with the fade back. Probably neutral air into down tilt would be my guess. And so he's like going for that on this side, but he manages to get caught while he's holding out. He was trying to find a stock with that charge shot, I think, and it just did not pan out. And now Taminus is on match point. <laughs> Man, these these games are. Like, down to the wire. They're tense. Oh yeah. It's very possible we go to a game five again. Going right back to Battlefield. As you said, Meeks likes this stage. Meeks does like this stage. Didn't work out for him last time. <laughs> but perhaps this game will be different. Probably the reason, part of the reason he doesn't want to go to Yoshi's story on this one is because Oh boy, is Joker a character who can get those cheesy early stocks with that, those close black zones? Yeah, he definitely can take advantage of close black zones. I think Samus can too, but I do think the slope sort of messes with the ledge trapping a bit. Up tilt is a little less consistent. You have to respect that side B anytime you're off stage against oh, Joker. That would have been such a big read on that deck. <laughs> Yeah, respect. Always got to respect those crazy read attempts. Uh, no roll from Meeks. Good. Doesn't quite get the punish on the F smash, but sometimes when you're in the corner, living is all you can ask for. <laughs> Trying to go catch him going low with that nair. But... Both these players, <laughs> they're reading the other going low so often. Oh, if that backer came through, I think Meeks gets edge guarded and dies. But managing to scoot through with the forward air and catch the attack. 
good situation where well do i see a third oh oh i already got a third arsen all right we see a third <laughs> dash attack gonna not quite do it yeah, it's so hard to edgeguard Samus. I feel like Samus, in that situation, can sort of react to how the Joker positions and recover based on that. <laughs> but you always have to look out for that down gun. It got nerfed for a reason. Oh, what Good a read. call out. <laughs> Good read on the jump back. Up smash from Joker goes so high, it can catch a lot of full hops, especially on a slower character like Samus. Well, very good position for Taminus. Well, okay, it's favors Meeks right now. But it's still a pretty good com and comfortable position mm -hmm. Poor for... Poor grab. What does Tim just get off of it? <laughs> Poor up smash. Here we go. It's the advantage. This is just barely and Meeks manages to break out with that up B. That's a big thing with this stage. The up B from Samus, and if it misses, then you land on the platform and have a little bit of mix. Well, he's getting a lot out of that up B. Look at this. Yeah, you cannot getting land the, on... Getting Tim just off of him. You cannot land on Samus's shield. You will get upbeat every time. Unless you bait it. <laughs> yep. And it's good. Uh, I think it probably tried to grab that, but the spot dodge canceled on, so... A little too quick. Ooh, <laughs> grabbed the wrong way. Oh, nice call out. Yeah, there you go. Good call out. Shielding the upbeat. That's <laughs> that's big. If you can call it out and just force the Samus to play a little more honest, that can go a long, long way. Looking for those back airs. Meeks brings himself off stage. Doesn't get trapped for it, but uh, just barely off. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. A couple of hitboxes. Maybe one. <laughs> Tamis? Tamis is making a lot of moves with this counter back on the stage. Oh, oh just barely missing. Him up, but not quite enough. Oh, missing oh, the... Oh, the forward air didn't quite do it, but manages to get the forward air on the, the run back. <laughs> the second attempt. Yep. It's still Meek's game to lose, but Tamis has a fighting chance here. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Meek's forced himself into the corner by accidentally running into his down B <laughs> and locking himself into movement. So they had to run away. Oh, big opening. <laughs> What's the conversion? Catches the shield. It's looking very winnable for the Tamnus. Wolf catches the shield again. <laughs> I'm surprised he got through these grabs because Meeks was spot dodging for a while there. Big opening for Meeks, but Tamnus breaks through, goes for the F smash. Oh, the jab doesn't connect. It's one of the worst jabs in the game, folks. You'd rarely see them go for that second hit because it does not connect. Why it doesn't? Why? <laughs> there we go. Back air. Good catch going above the down guns, and we're going to a game number five. Oops. <sighs> so Down to the wire, guys. This tonight is it's a stressful night. You can say that again. Nice like this would build build up level. If you can if you can go through a tournament playing like four best of fives, you get a lot better. Stressful days like that are what it, it breaks you down and builds you back stronger. When you're used to being in high pressure situations, then you get into high pressure situations and you close it out. When you're like getting better, the people who were better than you, you're not gonna just wash when you beat them. You're going to like have a close game, and then you'll beat them because you're <laughs> you've been gone. You've gone through all the the hardship, you know. The game fives. Who town and city? And here we have two players, two storylines building up that skill set. Yep. The high the pressure tournament moments. How do they deal with it? Which one's going to come out on top? We can only have one winner. Volatility versus consistency, aggr aggression versus patience. It's a battle of the contrasts tonight. A big breakout with the Rebels Guard, and he gets the last backer. I think that's the stump. No, no, he has a jump. Yep, that jump is huge. If You, you always want to save it for that reason, because suddenly you can be like, oh, I still have it. Now I can get back when you didn't expect me to. Yeah. <laughs> the jump is such a good resource offstage. 
It's a <laughs> vital resource. When people don't have it, they die. Crazy. Arsene coming out good. Cash on the tech in place with the dash tech. Would have caught the dash out. Or uh, tech roll out as well. Ooh. Doesn't get the ledge trapped. Hamnus manages to reverse that. And that's too low. Catches, catches pa Meeks panicking with the up the end in <laughs> the process. Meeks doesn't wait on the platform. He might get punished a bit. It takes a little more damage than usual because I assume he's out. Nothing big. Ooh, that oh, is big. neutral air up till he's cooking. <laughs> yes, big cooking. Taking center stage, just getting stage control. Still a winning position, even if he doesn't get a punish on the options out of the corner. <laughs> Tamnus is just finding these small hits, and they're adding up. Yeah. Good DI, doesn't die to the dash attack. It's going to be really hard for Meeks, but... Yep, he was... Four read for, with the Rebels guard. A lot of extra credit coming through, though. It's a big lead here. Enough of a lead that he might not need the... Oh, he the pops out! Arsene to take another stock. So it'll probably be coming out pretty shortly with how it's going right now. Ooh, Ooh there we go. Back into it, gets hit with the back end of a neutral air, which combos into the F smash. That was a really wild. These, these players Ooh. are both cooking big time and down in cities close for side blast zones. A good pick from Taminus. Yeah, that was huge to taking that stock where that was. Oh. <laughs> good good recovery high from Meeks. I, I, was, I was feeling a runoff down from Taminus. He loves going for that. He didn't because he's he's play, he's cooking today. Oh, yeah. And he, he, he was better off for not going for it. He kept a, a winning position. There we go. Nice spot dodge into down tilt. One of Meeks, well, not favorite, but it is one thing he goes for every once in a while. He went for it again there, though. Oh, here we go. Two up airs. He has an opportunity to catch the landing. Does it with the dash attack. <laughs> Straight to ledge. Meeks does a Samus one. Needs to take the. St there we go. Doesn't that fly way out the spot dodge, and that didn't kill Spark for some reason. I don't know if many of the guys could have saved you at 170. Uh, I want to be close to But it's crucial oh, that he did. Neutral air grab into the forward air. 85% on Meeks. <laughs> How does he get back to stage? Oh, Dennis falls out of the up air. Gets caught with the forward air. What does Meeks set this up with? Oh, Rebels no. guard Arsene is out and ready to throw hands. Yeah, this game, it's not totally over, but it's going to be very oh, dangerous so for Meeks. scary for Meeks. He makes... First hit forward air and it's over. Doesn't do the roll, gets grabbed. Very good grab from Taminus. They have the time to get a true punish, so he ends up getting the read on the oh, back Meeks throw. Where dodge early. Guns That's are out, do it. Is going Taminus to take Taminus. it. To... 3-2, making his way into Grand Finals. What a gamer. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a very tense match, but Taminus is unstoppable, and we'll see if he can stop you. <laughs> but, but, yep, it's just me commentating to, for the rest of this, and thanks, for, or, I'm Tendo, for joining us on comms tonight. It, it's greatly appreciated, and... To be fair, Tamnus was cooking pretty well in that earlier set. Take, took one game, came close in another. It's probably a tall order to take the match against I'm Tendo, but it could happen.
And here we go, grand finals. Tamnus fighting from the loser's side. Starting out strong against I'm Tendo. There, there we go, getting some gun off stage. <laughs> that, that gun could really be a menace to him, to I'm Tendo's up recovery, but see if he can handle it. Right now, though, Tamnus is coming in with all the momentum on his side, just playing masterfully around I'm Tendo, who's finally starting to get make stuff happen, and really making stuff happen, but now has to deal with that Arsene, and that is established it's not something you ever want to be staring down it's all the scarier because fox is a very light character so very prone to losing early stocks there we go back air on stage taking the first stock of this game Ooh, yep, getting a little desperate with that up smash and eats. Uh, there we go, finding another, a proper one that time. It's a key part of Fox, knowing the right moment to up smash makes all the difference. Oof. There we go, making the most of that pressure. Uh, just tried to make the most of that and was misspaced it. There we go, catches him with off stage with that back air, using the shine at just the wrong time. Definitely an upside in this matchup for Fox is that it's pretty unlikely that Townis is going to get the chance to use a second Arsene in any stock. Fox takes stocks far too early for that to be a reliable thing. But needs to take it real soon because that otherwise he probably is going to be staring down Arsene at any moment. Oh, got the jab lock gun. Townis had been more ready. That could have been an interesting punish. This is probably Tamnus' game to lose. Gets the sour spot, sending in a weird direction, too. There we go, getting the punish on the hot on it and get Oh, if he'd been ready for that punish, that would have been the game. And is ready for that. Tamnus taking game one with two stocks to spare. Another game where, well, this game is looking a lot better for T for I'm Tendo. He's getting a lot more of the right reads. Oh, but that could change real fast. Tamon is going for all the wrong reads there, to, giving him an I'm Tendo an easy gateway back to stage, with nothing to ant to show for it with this first Arsene. Oh. That was an awkward SD. Yep, getting the punish on the back air out of this fourth shot. There we go. This game is looking very good for Heim Tendo and gets the shine spike to close out that second stock. 
I'm Tendo and I'm paced to get some big revenge for that last game. There we go, a <laughs> footstool for the first stock. Not a common way to do it, but it is a valid way too. So I'm gonna be very surprised if Samus takes this game. No, wanted the roll read. Samus wisely not fallen for the trap. Good avoidance and punish. There we go. Close to the stock gap. So not, not going to let him answer back with the two stock of his own. But yeah, okay, still alive. Not able to recover. Great edge guard for my Nintendo to close out that game. You don't often see foxes go for the edge guarding because it's usually not a good idea. So when they do, it's all the more surprising. Also, I think Nintendo recognized that he was in trouble. He might have been in trouble that game if he let him live any longer. for that first Arsene. Trying to go for a down smash two frame, which is not an easy thing to get against a character like Joker who can tether recovery and great up smash to close out that first stock. <laughs> this is looking very good for I'm Tendo. Looks like he got all the information he needed from that last game and is now just rocking all over Taminus. Trying to close it out with that up smash. An interesting attempt to get some Rebels Guard and did not get the back air. Did get that one. Granted, Taminus did come close to bringing that last game from a two stock deficit. Maybe he could do this one too. the dash attack punish on the landing. Hmm. This is down. This was just hoping to, Nintendo would do something weird that he could punish it. There we go. Three stuck to, into this next game. I'm Nintendo on tournament point. the mix-up which I know he's played Robin I'm not convinced this is gonna work
Oh, Tedo going, knowing when to go in and just making the most and reminding him, hey, I don't have to respect that arc fire. And now out of the upbeat resource, so if he gets sent off stage soon, it's going to be a problem for him to recover. Yep, take, taking that first stock after barely taking 6%. Hmm, interesting you went from there and not up there. Ooh, trying to really go for the big combo with into a second side beam, but mistimed it. That's the challenge of going for a counter pick, especially when a with a more technical counter pick. It's like Robin. You don't always have the skills to pull off those crucial confirms to take those stocks. I'm Tendo on point, just running up for the up smash to take that second stock. Ooh, there we go. That's a good time to get back the Eleven Sword. Still, Tamna's getting thrown around, but the Eleven Sword is gone. Yeah, that's still gets back to stage, but not with a lot of room for error at this point. Yep, good. took take the game and match. Well played by I'm Tendo. It looked like Tamna's had a chance, but. I'm Tendo's just on another level. The, the unstoppable force met the immovable object that is I'm Tendo, and so I'm Tendo is your champion tonight. Thanks for tuning in, folks. See you all next week. Right? Right. <laughs>